In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert this simple text into a flowchart in PowerPoint. I have uh, used the four steps. The first step is to tell students about the activity. The second step is to uh, students have to finish the activity in the given time. The third one is students started doing the activity. The fourth one is was the activity done on time? If the answer is yes, it's a success or else it's a failure. So let's see how we can convert this into a flowchart and this is how it looks like. The first one start with everything uh, the flowchart will start with the uh, the start button here and then you can see here the students uh, tell students about the activity then the students have to finish the activity in the given time and then the students started doing the activity then here the decision is was the activity done on time the answer is yes then is a success if the answer is no it's a failure and then the process ends as you can see here i have used some different shapes which i'm going to explain when to use the shape so let's start the tutorial and before starting the tutorial please subscribe to my channel powerpoint university and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial now before we start creating the flowchart let's understand uh, some five basic flowchart symbols here if you can see the first one is the oval shape which is used for the start and end and then the rectangle used for the process the parallelogram used for the input and output and the diamond shape used for the decisions and then the arrow uh, is used for the flow of sequence to create a flowchart, I have taken this example. For example, uh, let's talk about this one. Uh, we are going to tell the students to do some activity and then the students have to finish the activity in the given time. Then the student will start doing the activity and then we'll see whether the student have been uh, done the activity on time or not. If yes, it is success. If not, it's a failure. So we'll take this example to create the flowchart. So I have created a new slide and then I have just added uh, the points here, uh, the activity which we need to do it. So let's understand the first thing as I said, uh, the oval shape is used for the start and the end. So I'm going to uh, rectangles and then you can see here I can use either this one or directly you can use from the flow chart also the process. You can see the start and the end. All those information is available here. So maybe I'm going to use this one and then I'm just going to draw it. All right. You can see like this or you can go and do it from this one also whichever way you feel here the advantage is you can just align it you know you can uh, uh, resize this one okay so let me just delete this one then i'm going to put this here at the top all right reduce the size a little bit and then hold the shift key uh, control and shift key together and bring it down like this so this is my start and this is my end process all right later on we can change the colors and all those things the next thing is we'll add this point so you can see here the first point is to tell the student about the activity then the second third and fourth so i'm going to add four rectangles here go to insert shapes select the rectangle this is my first rectangle all right then hold the control shift key together this is my second rectangle the third one and the fourth rectangle now the first rectangle we are going to copy this one control c and control v copy i'm going to home center align and reduce the size to maybe to 14 then i'm going copying the second one control v and then i can just use this one to change it then the third one control c control v and then the fourth one was the activity done on time i'm going to copy this one till here and 
paste it so again using the format painter you can see here i can just change this one let me just do it once again yeah now as i've explained you that we have to change we cannot just simply use these rectangles here so we have to use some different shapes whatever we have explained here so this is the oval shape start and end i have used here start and end then the other thing is we have to use some other thing for the parallelogram for example parallelogram i'm going to use for the input and output so you can see here this one is the tell students about the activity that's what uh, uh, this one the input and output and this one also going to be the input or output so i'm going to change this shape to the parallelogram so go to the shape format edit shape change shape and i'm going to choose this one the parallelogram immediately the shape got changed you can see here and then once you click you can just change the way you want further if you keep it as it is not a problem if you want to increase the size also you can increase the size all right so let me just increase the size for this one like this i can increase the size all right then next is the process process is the same thing i'm not going to change this one but this one it's going to be a decision so the decision as i said this one is going to be a diamond shape so for that let me just go here shape format edit shape now i'm going to choose the diamond shape here then i can just increase the size depending on my requirement you can see here all right was the activity done on time all those things and then i can just move it further down this one so once this is done now you can change the colors you you don't want this one uh, the fill color to be uh, white all right so i can make it shape outline make it a dark blue could be shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and then the the text is not visible so go to home choose the color whichever color and if you like to change the font also you can just go and change the font according to your requirement so i'm going to use the hand of sean and i've just changed like this you can see here and then i'm going to add two more uh, outputs okay which is a parallelogram all right so i can directly go to insert add it or i can just simply select this one press ctrl d to duplicate was the activity done on time if yes the answer it is success if no it is a failure so i'm just going to drag it and put it here and then i'm going to make this as a failure and this one i'm going to fill this color with red for example because it's a failure no outline and then i'm going to make this font as white and here this one will be uh success so i'm going to choose a green color no outline and then the color is i'm going to choose it white all right so you can see here i have put all the points start tell the students about the activity then students have to finish the activity in given time then students start students started doing the activity here you can see here and then was the activity given on time if yes success if no it's a failure and then we'll end the process so now we have to use with the help of the arrows to uh, connect this one to show the flow so okay go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose the line arrow let me just zoom in a little bit and here you can see in the center to this center and sometimes the arrow is not straight in that case i have to select this one and correct it so now i can go increase the weight of this one like this then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate and then again i'm going to select this one and here like this you can see here if it is not you have to just align it properly okay then again press ctrl d to duplicate for this one let me just select this and here then again ctrl d to duplicate align it properly you can see here let me just bring it somewhat down 
okay then i'm going to join this two okay go to insert or i can just take this also control d this center and this one again if it is gone up i'm going to make it bring down with the help of the arrow key and then control d and again this will come here and this will go here so this i'm going to select and i'm going to bring it like this all right so once this is done the failure and success should come uh, uh the arrow should uh, points towards the end for that go to shapes i'm going to choose this one which is the connector elbow arrow from the success i can take anything and then i'm going to put it here again shape outline i'm going to increase the size Control d to duplicate this one will go here and this one will be here so now the start process maybe i'm going to give some light green color all right and maybe the color the font color should be black so it's clearly visible and here i'm going to make it a light kind of a red color and then this one also i'm going to make it as a blue one so this and this if you want you can make it the same hand of sean and then that's it so the simple steps you can create the flowchart in powerpoint